my first bedtime storybook and the second story is about Alice in Wonderland. One day a girl named Alice saw a white rabbit with a watch. He also spoke and he said that he was very late. Then he disappeared down a rabbit hole. Alice was a curious girl, so she followed him to Wonderland. There nothing made much sense. For example, Alice drank a potion that made her very small. Later she became very big. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, two brothers who liked to recite poems, lived also in Wonderland. There was also a field of beautiful flowers. For a moment, Alice thought she heard one talk. As she walked in Wonderland, Alice saw butterflies with bread for wings and a caterpillar who liked recitation. But Alice most wanted to see uh, the white rabbit. She was curious what he was late for. If I were looking for the white rabbit, said the Cheshire cat, I would ask the Mad Hatter. Then he disappeared. Alice found the Mad Hatter. He was already with the white rabbit. No wonder you're always late. This clock is exactly two days slow, the Mad Hatter told the white rabbit and popped open his watch. The watch exploded and the white rabbit fled. Alice was upset. She had lost the white rabbit again, but Alice still had more wonders to see, like the Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts had an army of cards at her beck and call. She also had quiet the temper. Off with her head, the queen yelled, speaking to, of Alice. Alice thought she was doomed. Just then, Alice heard a voice. It was her sister. Alice woke up and realized she was back at home. She decided that no matter how grown up she became, she would always remember the wonders of Wonderland. The end.